Hey, how's it going everybody? I hope that you're all having an amazing day. In this video, we are going to go over all of the patch notes for the new Season 3 of Call of Duty Warzone. Do me a favor, and if this video helps you out at all, then help me out by hitting the like button. But without any further ado, let's get right on into it with the Warzone-specific game changes that came in with Season 3. Starting off with a bunch of general fixes to Warzone, they now tell you how far away you are from your teammates while you're in a match they made a fix for the gas mask animation interrupting and blocking players from deploying their parachute there was also various exploit fixes and a fix for a bug where players were unable to revive teammates after getting interrupted during the initial revive animation they also fixed a bug where players could be killed by vehicles without being near the player and they fixed an issue that could display the incorrect rank on screen after the player's game application had been suspended and reopened. They fixed an issue where deploying a recon drone would use the VO lines for a personal radar that VO was also heard by all players on the map. That has been fixed. There was a fix for a bug where players could become invincible if they become downed while switching seats in attack rover. And while spectating a player in the gulag, the option to redeploy your teammate would appear on screen, even though they cannot be redeployed. That has been fixed. If a player spectates the winning team of a battle royale match, the after action report will display the winning team's score in the scoreboard tab. That has been fixed as well. And they also fixed a bug where placing a shield turret on a teammate could possibly kill them. Moving straight forward though into some plunder specific changes which is they fixed a bug where players couldn't swap out the M13 for any other weapon in the plunder tutorial. Uh, just moving forward into some battle royale specific changes. They made a fix for players unable to self-revive in solos. They increased the price of a loadout drop within the buy station to $10,000. This is absurd. That is so much more than it needs to be. I thought it was perfectly fine at $6,000. Honestly, at this point in time, they might as well just take away you being able to buy these things, really. Um, but moving on, they also removed blood splatter and screen shake when being punched in the gulag waiting area. This never really bothered me, but I know that my buddy was incredibly bothered by how much his screen would shake if he had multiple people punching on him in the gulag, but... Um, they also removed the loss column from the Battle Royale leaderboard and replaced it with top 10s. They fixed an issue with final circles occurring out of bounds or in undesirable areas. I know one of the first games I got close to winning the final circle was up on a hill and me and my teammates just literally physically could not climb up the hill. So the t whatever team was up at the top of the hill just literally got an easy dub. But moving on, they also fixed an issue with armor plates and kill streaks being unusable under certain conditions. And I haven't been able to jump in and test this out yet, but I know that my armor pieces, when I put them on, have been super buggy lately, man. Uh, moving on, though, into the last thing, which are some PC-specific changes. And they don't really list off a whole lot here. They just say several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability. Uh, what I take from these patch notes as a whole is that they still have not addressed the audio issues. I mean, if 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 I look up non-Warzone specific information, there is some information on the audio. And I'll read that over here just now, just in case you're interested. Um, and I believe that this is only for the Modern Warfare version of the game, but it might also have to do with warzone so we'll read over them anyways they lowered the volume of the plane audio during infill they lowered the audio once you enter the gulag oh so obviously it does also apply to warzone they reduced the volume of occluded far and distant weapons so that's good so you won't hear gunshots like they're right up next to you that's nice but some footstep sounds while ads and crouched were cut short on the distance you could hear them depending on the surface type so i'm not 100 percent sure what that means but it almost sounds like they made it to where you hear less of the footsteps now if, if an enemy's crouched or or um 
a certain distance away from you on a specific type of surface. I don't know, but it's definitely upsetting because the audio in this game is absolute garbage. It is hot trash. Uh, the only way and the only reason that the audio works in multiplayer is because the maps are so small and really you respawn right away anyways. So so it's not the biggest deal if you end up getting shot in the back by somebody you weren't able to hear. But in Battle Royale where you spend 10 plus minutes looting up and loading out just to get shot in the back by somebody who literally walked up on you that you couldn't hear. It's just unacceptable man. The, the audio in this game definitely needs to get fixed. So there is just a little bit more information that I want to go over in terms of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and that is their Season 3 roadmap which is all of the features that they expect to come out either on release or later on during the Season 3 of Call of Duty. So let's jump right into it. First off, they expect quads mode in Warzone supporting teams of four players. They expect to come out with new operators and new maps for the Warzone multiplayer. They want to come out with new maps called Hard Hat and Gunfight Map Isle 9. They want to to come out with two new weapons in Modern Warfare's multiplayer, the SKS and the Renetti, and one more later in the season. They also are planning on coming out with new vehicle skins in Warzone and new multiplayer modes later on in the season. You know, Gun Game Reloaded and the Reinfected Ground War. Also, they plan on and obviously plan on coming out with the Season 3 Battle Pass, which will include 100 levels of new unlockables, including weapon blueprints and Call of Duty points. That's all the information that I have in this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to stick around and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Watch me clutch out a sweet dub in Call of Duty uh, Warzone. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm out. I'm gonna move up just a little bit, not a whole lot. We're gonna be the ones storm riding now. We have people northeast, northwest, southwest of us. We have people southwest of us. They're in that building over there, over by where that little drop, drop is. Right behind you, Jake. Nice. Nice, I didn't even see that kid. Tony, Tony just got knocked. Tony just got knocked. Tony got knocked. Yeah, I had somebody who was right in front of me too. I'm gonna try and pop some shields. Oh, he got me. He got me as I was climbing the fence. Didn't have a choice. It was out of the storm, bro. Captain inbound. Marking you safe zone. Turn the left. Keep the pressure on. Why is my guy being stupid? He's like taking his gas mask off and it's canceling the animation. All right, let's go. Push out through the back. Through the back. This way, this way. They're right on the other side of this fence, right where I'm at. Downed one. Confirmed. I, I don't know if they can jump over this fence or not. I didn't know he could flank the back, dog. That's my bad. Three, bro. How many people? Give me four, sorry. Oh,
1v1 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 scenario 